Welcome back folks, last time we were here, let's play The Witcher 3, since you no know, New Game Plus uh, DLC came out, you can play the game once again with all the equipment and abilities and all the things you had uh, previously. Now, I'm going to give you a few details about the New Game Plus and my final thoughts of it. First of all, weapons. Um, they stay the same which you have them so basically uh, all the armor that you had like weapons and stuff it stays the same basically and like some of the swords like this sword um, tiger which I got from the uh, dance with the, the when the wolf and cat uh, play with DLC that I killed that um which are from the school of the cat, um, that DLC, and I got this sword and I could wear it, but now in the new game plus I require level 37 to actually wear it. Um, it's not a final version, you can get a stronger version when you actually finish the quest again. So this is all the swords that you actually um, get in the beginning that you already had in the previous one, and basically you can get a stronger hope, you can get a, get a stronger long claw. I think this long claw is the best weapon in the game so far because, because it requires level level 67 to wear it and it's plus 254 damage all the things that you had like this um salmian brigandine which is like it was shit in the stock uh playthrough now it's a lot stronger because it requires level 40 so all the things like that you uh, acquire during the game like this um poker um, it's level 38, it's not a strong weapon, but you know how it goes. So every new weapon that you actually discover in this uh, playthrough, in this like new game plus, is stronger than your previous one, including armor and stuff. Now, when it comes to abilities, um, you know, when is, where is my abilities? Where is that thing? I think I missed it. Where the fuck? Oh, yeah, here it is. So character. Um, all the abilities that you had, you actually have them one more time. So it's... Uh, you already have the ability, you don't need to uh, spend them one more time. What you actually do is you can spend uh, more points to level up more on these abilities. You can combine them and stuff, which is a good thing actually because you can uh, now learn more abilities in the you know, branch and stuff. And you can combine them a bit more so it adds that, um, you know, build, uh, you can build more like... Uh, you can build more stuff in this game, you can build more characters and abilities uh, since you can go and level up more. So basically that stay the same and you need you don't need to spend the abilities one more time. Now when it comes to monsters, um, they are strong and basically they're not stronger like from the stock game, basically it's just the same level but um, they're actually, uh, you know, they're as strong as you, so basically if you're like level 36 like I am now, they're going to go like maximum 5 levels below you in, at the beginning of the game, like later those things are going to go um, up, like higher levels and stuff as you progress through the game, but everything else in the beginning, it is not strong, but it definitely packs a punch, and it will kill you um, if you don't have strong equipment, so basically master crafted armor like the which what I have It's like it doesn't matter which master crafted um, armor you have It's the strongest one uh, for this new game plus at the beginning you can uh, get you know It doesn't have to be the best armor, but it's going to be stronger than your previous one It's just like that now uh, everything else stayed pretty much the same so I'm um, like uh, Quests and stuff, they're just like a few levels above you. It's, it's as I said, it's the same like in the normal game. So here we go, I'm level 37. It took me like 5 minutes to level up till to 37, so it's pretty easy to level up now. It's It doesn't require a lot of time to level up. It's basically when you start the game for a few levels, it's easy to level up. Later, it's not so much. But um, as I said, enemies, they are uh, like a few levels... Um, weaker than you but they can still pack a huge punch now money as I said it stayed pretty much the same so I have a lot of money and it's going to um, be like a huge uh, plus in this game since you know I can buy a lot of new stuff with all this money so there is no inflation there is no like um uh, like expensive things it's all pretty much the same the only thing that's different is like those uh, things that you can actually wear in the normal game are now higher level and you need to level up for them so basically this new game it's just imagine if you start a new game but with the old items and abilities it adds a bit more spice to the game if you want to call it like that so 
I, it's like, I don't want to start a new game one again without any armors and stuff, so I have to do that. Now I just can go and uh, use the armor that I have. So let's see the bandits. These guys, so basically they're pretty easy to kill at the beginning. Pretty easy, even though that I'm actually on the very hard difficulty. Not the death march, but very hard. And let's do this. Okay, let's use the swallow. And I think actually the swallow is actually if you it's if if it's upgraded to the best, um, you can't upgrade it anymore. So there is no like a superior enhanced thing. There is just like um there is just like normal ones. So if your swallow is updated to like the, the strongest version, you don't need to uh do anything else. Let me go and get the uh art sign to get this guy out leader of the deserters why is it not holy crap i gotta i gotta use the axie on him hopefully this time there we go there we go oh yeah finisher i didn't play this game for like 20 days and i forgot the majority of things don't don't <laughs> don't bother wow it still doesn't take the sword out doesn't he okay so bandits pretty easy to kill pretty easy to kill at the beginning so you don't need to um it must be the equipment because i have the strongest equipment in stock um game so basically if if your equipment is not as strong in the stock uh version if you go to new game plus it's going to be a bit harder for you but everything else pretty much the same now we got a new sword the doran sword uh let's see now this and it's here so it requires level 38 and it was uh, the same as in the stock uh, game because I think it requ required like level three to wear this dwarven blade. So it's uh, it's as I said, pretty much as the new game, just like more levels and you don't have to start getting equipment once again. It's like it adds more spice to it and uh, it's cool to see it. Now again, thing is you can play with different choices. It doesn't matter which choices you made in the stock game. It's all new. So if you um, said, alright, Leto is dead or Leto is alive, it doesn't matter, really, guys, because you can start all over again and reach the, the world edge. So, basically, my opinion for the new game plus, it's amazing, I love it, I'm definitely going to play uh, through the entire game once again now to go to the higher levels, and a majority, more, majority of you ask me uh, if um, it's going to influence the DLC, it's not going to influence the DLC, basically, um, DLC is going to uh, calculate your abilities, your level, and it's going to adapt itself, so you don't have to worry about that, basically. It's just good. It's, everything is cool. Um, you don't have to uh, go and, like, level up a lot to, like, go to the DLC. Now, everything stays good, so don't worry about that. Go and start New Game Plus if you want to finish the game one more time. You can also choose hard difficulty this time, but it's good because you can play, like, through the entire game again, or maybe Death March or like uh, very hard because I I call Death March like ultra hard so I'm playing on the not Death March but the thing before it and I'm probably switching to Death March as soon as I like see the game a bit more so that's pretty much it guys I hope that I explained you this new game plus and to start the new game plus you need to um, load up your last saved game if you finish the main quest uh, this game doesn't start until you finish the main quest uh, when you do that, uh, you, you just wait for a minute and it's going to appear with a notification saying if you save now, like a manual save, like uh, this save, um, you can go and start New Game Plus. And when you, after you save that, you click New Game, you go through all these like show tutorial, no import, like Witcher 2 save and that. And it's going to say you do want New Game Plus and you select yes and you select the last uh, manual save game that you actually selected and just starts with all the items and abilities you had. And you can just, as I said, um, like this thing, like two points available, you can go like and start some new things. You can also, um, you know, invest more in these abilities. So it's, um, it's pretty cool because you can uh, add more abilities now, which is amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Also leave your comments down below and tell me what you think about this. And uh, will you be playing New Game Plus? So this is the last DLC. No more free DLCs, I'm sorry, this is the last free DLC for The Witch Tree. Now we're waiting for the official DLC, like the, the ones we pay for, and they're going to be pretty amazing. So, guys, thank you for watching, last time signing out, and stay classy, everyone. Goodbye.